Mr. Davis, we have any court pledge to waive the claim. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Okay. First on the agenda is the oath of office. Mr. Sheriff. Raise your right hand. I, Eric Sharon, I, Eric Sharon, hereby declare under oath. Hereby declare under oath that I will faithfully perform the duties. That I'll faithfully perform the duties. Of board member, office number three. Of board member, office number three. Lawton Independent School District number eight. Lawton Independent School District number eight. Comanche County, Oklahoma. Comanche County, Oklahoma. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. And that I will faithfully discharge. And that I will faithfully discharge. All of the duties pertaining to said office. All of the duties of the said office. And obey the Constitution and laws. And, the, and obey the Constitution and laws. Of the United States of Oklahoma. Of, in the United States of America and of Oklahoma. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I knew we were in a country yet. We're not. Call the roll, please. Mr. Jester. Here. Ms. Romeo. Here. Ms. John. Here. Mr. Sharon. Here. Dr. Shu. Here. Colonel Hassan Law. Okay, number three on the agenda, I'll see, is election of new officers. Entertain any motion for election? I make a motion that we elect Kent Jester as president. I second. Okay, motion for Kent Jester as president. Second's been made. Call the roll, please. Ms. John? Yes. Ms. Romeo? Yes. Dr. Shute? Yes. Mr. Sharon? Yes. Mr. Jester? Yes. yes. I'd like to make a motion to elect Ms. Donna Romeo as Vice President. Motion to make is there a second? I'll second. Call the roll, please. Ms. Romeo? Abstain. Ms. John? Yes. Mr. Sherum? Yes. Dr. Shute? Yes. Mr. Jester? Yes. Thank you. I could have said no. <laughs> it's a recognition of a special guest this evening, Mr. Davis. We do, Dr. Hughes. Thank you. Uh, we have some very special guests with us this evening from our district. <coughs> to introduce them, we have Cynthia Walker. If Cynthia would come to the podium at the time. Cynthia, of course, is the uh, executive director of uh, our working with our technology grants, but she is here this evening as president of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority of the Theta Epsilon Omega Local Chapter. I think I got all that close. <laughs> <laughs> and so, Walker, if you would please introduce our guest. Uh, our guest this afternoon, and I'm asking Dr. Deloach to come up because she will help present these awards with me, uh, mainly because of all the military terminologies that they have in their bio. Um, and she's a ex-military person, an officer from the military ranks. But this afternoon, our chapter, local chapter of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority and our local branch is Theta Upsilon Omega. And what we've done today, that we're doing today, is we're celebrating the memory of Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. by honoring contributions and sacrifices made by military servicemen and women. This year's program marks the 50th anniversary of the I Have a Dream speech King spoke on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial in 1963. In honor of Dr. King's military, members of the Lawton Fort Sill community, Theta Lufthansa Omega, has decided to recognize the servicemen who are employed by Lawton Public Schools for dedicated service in motivating young people to be better citizens. Lawton Public Schools students under the leadership are provided a quality citizenship, character, and leadership development program while fostering partnerships with the Lawton community and the school district. So what we have done today is this day we will honor and present with a plaque of Dr. Martin Luther King's Service Awards to all the ROTC instructors here in our local school district. Because uh, I'm a former high school principal and, and as some of them can tell you, I was in, I'm still an advocate of ROTC, junior ROTC. And most kids would not be where they are today if it had not been for the programs that we have in Long Public Schools. So we'll start with uh, MacArthur High School. 
we have a new ROTC instructor now, which uh, his bio is pretty detailed. And he's the newest kid on the block, so we'll start with him, and that's Major Craig Redfern. Major retired Redfern enlisted in the Army as an infantryman on 11 Mike on July 1989 in Charlotte, North Carolina. His duty positions as an 11 Mike include automatic weapon rifleman, Bradley fighting vehicle driver, gunner, commander, and dismount squad leader. He was also the Bradley fighting vehicle new equipment trainer and team instructor. As an infantryman, he was stationed in Ashen, Ashenhof, Berg, Swinford, and Baumholder, Germany, and Fort Benning, Georgia. When he deployed as part of Operations Desert Shield, Desert Storm, and provided comfort, he also deployed to Macedonia as uh, part of a task force Able Sentry to Tirana, Alba, Albania as part of a task force Hawk. Major Redfern attended Officer Candidate School at Fort Benning, Georgia and was commissioned a second lieutenant in the field artillery December 1999. His duty positions since his commission include Brigade Alpha S3, Battery Executive Officer, Palladian Platoon Leader, Battalion S1, Infantry Company Commander, ACRC Team Chief, Bullock or Basic Officers Leaders Course Cluster, Platoon Mentor, um, the 82nd Airborne Division Fire Force Integration Officer, and currently, currently a Field Artillery Captain's Career Course Small Group Instructor. Major Retired Red Forms additional deployments include Operation Iraqi Freedom and Operation Enduring Freedom. His awards include a valorous, a valorous unit award, one Oak League cluster, a Bronze Star Medal, Defense Meritorious Service Medal, a Meritorious Service Medal, one Oak Leaf cluster, an ARCOM with three Oak Leaf clusters, a Joint Service Achievement Medal, an AAM with a Silver Oak Leaf cluster, Southwest Asia Medal, three Bronze Stars, Kosovo. Campaign Medal, Afghanistan Campaign Medal, Iraq Campaign Medal, Global War on Terrorism Service Medal, Armed Forces Service Ribbon, Humanitarian Service Medal, Non-Commissioned Officer Professional Development Ribbon, Numeral 2, Overseas Service Ribbon, Numeral 3, U United Nations Medal, Kuwait Liberation Medal in Saudi Arabia, Kuwait Liberation Medal in Kuwait, a NATO Medal, Combat Infantry Badge, Expert Infantry Badge. Major Retired Red Fern is a graduate of PLDC, um, BNOC, FAOBC, and FACC. He holds an AAS in Electronics from DeVry Institute of Technology in Decatur, Georgia, a BS in Interdisciplinary Studies from Cameron University in Lawton, Oklahoma, a Master of Human Relations degree from the University of Oklahoma in Norman, and an Oklahoma teacher certification. His lovely wife of almost 22 years is the former Baron Junger of Aschenberg, Germany. Their 21-year-old daughter, Larissa, is a junior at the University of Oklahoma in Edmond. Sergeant Major Retired Ronnie Adams. <coughs> Command Sergeant Major Retired Ronnie Adams hails from Shelby, North Carolina. He has two children, Britton, who is a graduate of the University of Central Oklahoma and is currently pursuing a master's degree in general education. Chantoya is a senior at MacArthur High School in Lawton, Oklahoma, and will be attending the University of Central Oklahoma in the fall semester. Command Sergeant Major Retired Adams enlisted in the military in 1978 and spent 23 years in the Army. He is a graduate of the NCO Academy, the United States Army Drill Sergeant School, and the Command Sergeant Major's Academy in Fort Bliss, Texas. His military occupation especially was field artillery. 
His overseas travels include Turkey, Germany, and Korea. His stateside assignment was in Fort Stewart, Georgia, Bliss, Texas, and Fort Sill, Oklahoma. He holds an associate degree in criminal justice, a bachelor's degree in criminal science, and a master's degree in psychology, psych oh, okay, psychology. <laughs> from Camel University. Command Sergeant Major Retired Adams has his instructor's certification through Cadet Command and the Oklahoma Certification Program. <laughs> Colonel retired Ron Rulison. Yes, we'll be mailed. Okay. I'll talk to him and we'll send this to Dallas, Texas for him. He retired in January. Okay. Colonel retired James Taylor. <laughs> and I'm going to make a quick correction on it. That's Lieutenant Colonel retired James R. Taylor. He is a junior um, ROTC instructor, um, senior ROTC instructor at Eisenhower High School. Lieutenant Colonel Retired Taylor was born in Lawton, Oklahoma. He attended Lawton Public Schools and graduated from Lawton High School. He enlisted in the U.S. Army in June 1976. He was commissioned through Officer Candidate School in August 1981. As a quartermaster officer, he served two tours of duty in the Republic of South Korea and various military posts throughout the United States, culminating in his final assignment as the Federal Emergency Management Agency Region 8 Plans Officer, where he coordinated all military logistics in support of the 2002 Salt Lake Winter Olympic Games. Lieutenant Retired Taylor has served as a senior Army instructor at George Wythe High School in Richmond, Virginia from 2002 through 2005. Prior to returning home to become the senior Army instructor at Eisenhower Senior High School, where his mission is to motivate his cadets to become solid and contributing citizens to their local, state, and national communities. In addition to his duties and the senior Army instructor at EHS, Lieutenant Colonel Retired Taylor also serves as the senior pastor of the St. James Baptist Church in Lawton, Oklahoma. Lieutenant Colonel Retired Taylor's military awards include the Aircraft Crewman's Badge, Army Service Medal, Good Conduct Medal, Army Service Ribbon, National Defense Service Medal, Overseas Ribbon, Army Achievement Medal, Army Accommodation Medal, Meritorious Service Medal with three awards, and the Legion of Merit. Lieutenant Colonel Retired Taylor started his education at Cameron University in 1983 before receiving his Bachelor's of Arts degree with a specialization in business from the State University of New York and his master's degree in science and educational leadership from Troy State University. <laughs> Sergeant Major Retired James Yarborough. Sergeant Major Retired James Yarborough is the junior ROTC instructor at Eisenhower Senior High School. This is a position that he has held for the last 15 years. Sergeant Major Retired Yarborough entered the United States Army the 25th of July 1972 from New Boston, Texas. He served 26 years on active duty as a military policeman. His assignments have included squad leader, platoon sergeant, first sergeant, and his last active duty assignment was Sergeant Major of the Law Enforcement Command at Fort Sill, Oklahoma. His duty stations have included Fort Ord, California, Fort Lewis, Washington, Fort Hood, Texas, Fort Bliss, Texas, Fort Sill, Oklahoma, and overseas assignments in Germany and South Korea. Sergeant Major Retired Yarborough's military awards include the, the Legion of Merit, Meritorious Service Medal, Army Accommodation Medal, Army Achievement Medal, and various other military ribbons and decorations. Sergeant Major Retired Yarborough has a criminal justice degree from American University in Killeen, Texas. <laughs> Colonel Retired Charles M. Williams. Colonel Retired Charles M. Williams 
entered the Army upon graduation from the United States Military Academy in 1971. He served on active duty for over 27 years until his retirement in 1998. Highlights of his service include serving as an instructor at West Point, command of two artillery batteries, command of an artillery battalion in Operations Desert Shield and Desert Storm, command of a recruiting battalion, and as ROTC Brigade Commander. Colonel Retired Williams began teaching at Lawton High, High School in 2002. First Sergeant Retired, Michael J. Romaka. First Sergeant Retired, Michael Romaka, joined the Army right after he graduated from high school in 1972 at the age of 17. His tours overseas include five years in Germany, three years in Panama. He also participated in Operation Just Cause. He served in the infantry as a rifleman, platoon sergeant, and company first sergeant. He also served as a drill sergeant for two years and as an instructor for the Comanche Battalion and Cameron University for three years. He retired in 1995 with almost 24 years of active service. He has taught junior ROTC at Lawton High School for 18 years. He is married to Susan with two grown children, five grandchildren, and one grandchild. <laughs> Master Sergeant Retired Richard LaMonica. Master Sergeant Retired Richard LaMonica married He's married to Veronica M. LaMonica, September 16, 1978. He has three children. Nicholas serves in the Coast Guard. Carlo graduated law school May 2013. And Antonio graduated MacArthur High School May 2013. decided the booster club to remove the existing press box and construct a larger metal building with concession stand restrooms at the bottom level and a press box on the top level. But all this caused an increase of two to three thousand dollars over what they had budgeted. But uh, Mr. Bradshaw has offered uh, his concession, uh, some of the proceeds that he has made to finance this and so in order to proceed and complete this using those funds, we are asking your approval. Approval. Second. Any discussion? Call the roll, please. Mr. Shannon. Yes. Dr. Sheep. Yes. Ms. John. Yes. Ms. Ronio. Yes. Mr. Jester. Yes. Okay. Uh, item 7B, if you'll turn to, I believe it's page three of your agenda, um, there is a copy of a consideration and action regarding the resolution requesting the Oklahoma legislature to provide an additional two years to fully implement current reform efforts 
uh, to extend the timeline with regard to adding the quantitative piece of the TLE or the teacher leader evaluation. In essence, what they're asking for is that we be given extra time in order for our teachers, staff, administrators to become better educated and uh, skilled in the implementation of the TLA and also Common Core. So we're asking for your endorsement as a district to add to the already uh, mounting uh, request throughout the state. I move we approve the resolution. Second. Call the roll, please. Ms. John? Yes. Mr. Sharon? Yes. Ms. Romeo? Yes. Dr. Chu? Yes. Mr. Jester? Yes. Okay, are there any items removed from the consent agenda? Motion to approve, please. I'll make the motion to approve the consent agenda. I'll second that. Call the roll, please. Ms. Ronio? Yes. Ms. John? Yes. Dr. Shu? Yes. Mr. Sharon? Yes. Mr. Jester? Yes. Okay. <coughs> Looks like there's a need for an tonight. Motion to go into the executive session, Second. please. Second. Call the roll, please. Dr. Shu? Yes. Ms. Romeo? Yes. Mr. Sharon? Yes. Ms. John? Yes. Mr. Jessica? Yes. 